All right, ladies and gentlemen, I need your help. I need like 100 to 200 of you guys. I don't need everyone's help, but I need 100, 200 people to come join me. Top secret mission. Well, it's not really top secret. Listen, I have an underdog goal that I need to reach soon. And I need 100, 200 of you guys to help me do it. There will be cash, price, everything. Trust me. It's definitely going to be an opportunity. And then when I do other things in the future, you will be chosen from first. So this is early access to other things that I have coming. I value the 100 or 200 of you guys that are willing to help me. So if you're willing to help me, it makes easy money along the way. Easy. Please join the Discord. <coughs> join the Discord. I made a Discord for this. Join the Discord. I just need 100 to 200 people, please. Join the Discord. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Um, let's hop into the video. <laughs> incredibly impressive people. We got some Latinos here tonight. That's what I'm talking about. Can do fucking anything. They can escape tyrannical regimes, come to this country, start your own businesses, take care of your families. There's only one thing you cannot do, and that is pronounced for Lauderdale. That's the only thing that is impossible for a Latino to do. If you want to stop immigration in this country today, make that the one question on the test. Say Fort Lauderdale. Falabrador. 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 Fuck it, send me back. I go back. I don't care. I don't want to be here no more. I don't want to be here. I go to Aventura. Can I go to Aventura? I can pronounce that. I can pronounce Aventura, but I can't pronounce this Falabrador. White people, the only place y'all fucked up is you built a casino, it's a musical instrument. That's a fucking back signal for Latinos. This, they see that shit in the distance, they're like, oh, it's a party! I think it's a party! Okay, Grandi Coca, it's a party! You want to keep Latinos away, you got to make it out of something they're afraid of, like a condom. You know, it's... I ain't not going in there, i never done that before, i not started now. I, I ain't afraid of pussy. on fentanyl for sure, dude. That was, that was a fent laugh, dude. That was a big time fent laugh. He's laughing at a joke from 15 minutes ago. He's on a different dimension. Where is he? Raise your fucking head. He's Cuban? Oh, he's Cuban. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Cubans are the most confident people on the fucking planet. Cubans are so confident, you just start to believe whatever they say. Cubans believe they invented the ham sandwich. <laughs> This is, let me say, it's so different. It's bread, cheese, ham, bread. Nobody ever did this before. This is, only Cuban can do this. Only Cuban can put bread, the cheese, the ham, and a sandwich. Trans women are fixing some shit. Like, I know women are really upset that the trans women are, like, competing in women's sports with them. But I'll be honest, like, I can't wait for the day when trans women completely replace women, women, and women's sports. That's my dream. Martin Luther King. I have a Martin Luther King dream that one day trans women completely replace women women at women's sports. And that women will know what white people went through when we let black people play sports. That shit difficult, ain't it? That's why we have no sympathy for you ladies. We hear you on the news like, how can we win? They run faster and jump higher. We're like, oh, I wonder what that is like. I wonder. White kids, bro. White kids don't know yet. 
The little seven-year-old white kids out there that are like, I want to be a running back when I get older. <laughs> I thought he was gonna drop the shit. He still ain't dropped the special. Fuck, this was like two, three months ago. I should've went. My friend Pootie was talking about And it's bullshit. That is not the whole city. That is a very small, specific section of the city. It's called Diddy's House. That is, listen. The, the, Just petting him like a Maltese cat. 
Meek Mill crying. Oh no, wait a minute. I thought she was finished. Think he's like, can't stop, won't stop. You try to run out. You run out. The door is locked. You're locked in. You turn around. All of a sudden, you hear. When you are, we know you're Mexicans. You love Jesus, you fucking drive Postmates, and you barbecue with a white beater. You're fucking Mexicans. Only difference is when an Armenian girl cheats on her boyfriend, she does it with a black guy. That's the only difference. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. They're just keeping up with the Kardashians, I guess. Eh? The Burj Khalifa, unbelievable. But I heard that when it was built, it wasn't connected to the sewage system. They have like these poop trucks they have to take the sewage out. And that's why uh, you shit on a hooker's chest. So. Abu Dhabi, baby! What the fuck? Oh my god. I don't know if y'all know this, but over there they have a reputation of the rich, the super rich people will fly out girls from America and they'll just piss on them and shit on them and make them fuck a bunch of people. And he said, that's what you shit on it. Oh my God. Let me understand what who's here. What the Obviously, fuck? We got some locals. Make some noise, locals. Okay. Everybody who just clapped isn't wearing underwear. How awesome is that? Guys, this Dubai ball sweat. We're smelling Dubai ball sweat. You know the confidence that y'all gotta have in wiping your ass to wear all white. Bro, if I was wearing all white, the back would look like I was riding a motorcycle in the rain. Okay, where are y'all from? Which Emirate? You're from Dubai. Oh, welcome. How does it feel to be around real money? <laughs> Soak it up, enjoy, enjoy it. Okay, we got Dubai. Where else we got? We got we got Sharjah. Oh, we got some Chamakis here. We got some Chamakis. We got some Chamakis. Behave yourself, Chamakis. I know we got Chamakis. We actually, we don't even have uh, the smoke you see back here. We don't have smoke machines. That's five Chamakis with vapes on each side. We say, go back there, Chamakis, and vape all you want. We need five Chamakis with hookahs. I'm dead. I knew there were some Chamakis here because I was in the parking lot and I saw a lot of Lexus 430s. So, I knew. I knew we were going to have a lot of Chamakis here today. I saw Ryan real low. So be careful, ladies. The Chamakis, they're very charming. Fair, they'll hit you with the most charming thing you can say out here. They'll be like, Hanati. Hanati. Let me take you to the best hotel in all of Abu Dhabi. <laughs> it's the back of a Nissan Vitek. It's the back. <laughs> nah, Sharjah's beautiful, man. Sharjah's got the biggest library in all of uh, the UAE, right? Yes. And one day, ladies, you will be able to read the books in there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
instead of just cleaning them. So let's hope. If China invades Taiwan, it's Australia and the U.S. that got to defend Taiwan. Now here's the thing, and we haven't had this discussion, we need to talk to y'all about this a little bit. But let's just be honest right now. How confident are we that we're going to be able to know who's who, right? Like, let's just... Sydney yesterday, first thing we did, off the plane, immediately, Bondi Beach. Now, incredibly excited to go to Bondi, I've been waiting two years to go to Bondi Beach. Not because of like the natural beauty, don't give a fuck. <laughs> Not because of the chicks in the bikinis, don't give a fuck. I came to Australia for one reason, because I wanted to see a full grown Indian man <laughs> with jeans and socks on, okay? Listen, I didn't believe it was real. I did not believe it was a real thing. I'm like, this got to be set up at Bondi Rescue. There's no fucking way. There's no way the Indians park their Uber, get out in the same outfit, and walk straight into the ocean, and then just fucking float to New Zealand. They don't even... Every Indian in New Zealand started at Bondi Beach. Diversity. This is Moroccan, Moroccans, 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 Turkish, Moroccans, Polish, Moroccans. If you want to see an actual Dutchman, you got to go to Erdik or some shit like Do we have people from Erdik here? Now they're busy fucking their cousins back there. <laughs> Wait, is that your version of like the South, like in America? Oh, okay, okay. I just couldn't believe there'd be like a cousin fucking place. Because like, you could pay for pussy. So that means you're fucking your cousin for the love of the game, bro. Like, like it's not that you can't get laid. You're like, nah, that bitch fine, bro. She's, she looked just like our grandma. I love that. Where are you from, bro? You're from Afghanistan. Okay, you know about cousin fucking no. I swear to God, like two weeks ago before I came here, I remember being like, what the fuck am I talking about? I was so concerned, I actually Googled what the fuck was going on in Canada. And there was a headline. Punjabi. That's what I'm talking about. My chuck's in the building, baby. Let's go. <laughs> City Center all the way Oh, yeah, 
spice. You're never big spice. You know. Protest. It was fucked up because they throw the orange paint and there was these three girls that are like covered with orange paint. I'm like, this is fucking atrocious. And I got a little closer and they were just from Liverpool. But, uh, and... <laughs> you want to see a girl with real lips from Liverpool, you got to take off her underwear. <laughs> of the North. There is no way in fucking hell. Blackpool is like for like 55 year old women that are like celebrating their last abortion. Like that. Bro, the black guy stood up. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Blackpool. He got scared. He's like, pools? Oh, I'll, I'll drown. I need to take it. Are you? Get me away from it. Bro, how do you go to name the city after two mortal enemies? Black people and water. It's like naming the city white rhythm. Listen. We were in uh, Ireland yesterday. We got some Irish here, bro. We had a uh, we had we had this pub and we had this thing called a spice bag. Do you guys know what that is? Okay, I didn't know that was food. I thought that was what you call Asians. And That was my favorite thing about seeing Schultz live, is he does the dark humor. I know he can't post any of that on YouTube, because YouTube can't handle that. The algorithm can't handle that. But boy, if you ain't seen him live, let me tell you, he has got some good dark humor jokes, man. It gets nasty, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't know that was food. I thought that's what you call Asians. And... That's what I'm fucking calling him from now on. Okay, I got a fucking hand job from the spice bag in Thailand. It turned out he had a ball bag, so it was a little. <laughs> I come here today. I'm asking people, I'm like, yo, what do you call, you know, spice bag? Is that something you guys understand or whatever? And they go, no. And I'm like, well, what do you call, like, you know, Chinese food? Or like, what do you call? And, uh. <laughs> Chingy. <laughs> what the now, what do you call it when you go out for some Chinese food? And the guy goes, oh, we're going out for a chingy. <laughs> going for a chingy, bro? Only status people can be racist and charming at the same fucking time. What do you call it when you go for an Indian? A stinky? No. God, stop. <laughs> we're not going to be that racist. See, we got some Indians. Indian Scots, what do you guys think? What do you say? You just said, I, I don't know if I can say that one. I don't know. I can't say that, but I can go out for a pocket stinky later, so. 